Welcome to What Would You Do, a live show where we take a deep dive into a variety of questions and topics. And joining me today is basically our co-host, DJ Kosher. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Overwhelmingly good. Ah, oh, yeah. It's there we a go. whale, so it's like a <laughs> creature of the ocean. I creature get it. of the ocean. Uh, thank you for being nice. here, DJ. All of you in chat, oh, thank yeah. you for being here, tuning in, watching our show, uh, either live or on YouTube. So for those unfamiliar with the show and what we do here at What Would You Do, in just a second, I'll pose a question for DJ Kosher and I to discuss, but also for all of you in chat. So let us know what you think, give us your feedback, your thoughts on the question, and vote using the exclamation point vote space number or answer command. DJ Kosher worked on this, made a new poll for us, so we'll be testing that out tonight. Uh, if you enjoy the show, follow me here on Twitch, turn on notifications, and if you're catching on YouTube, like, share, and subscribe to my channel there. If you have questions or want to just join the discussion, hop into chat with us. So for today's first question, would you rather be a judge on the Great British Baking Show or Chopped? So oh. I, we have those in there as the options for right now. But the, the theme of it, right, is like a baking show. If you have a different one on top of your head, I can't think of one. But Chopped, you could drop in a couple different cooking shows there. But just like those types of themes of food, which would you prefer? Oh, that's not how I was going to think of it. Oh, OK. Well, how are you going to think of it? Because there's some spinoffs we can do here. Well, I don't know what Chopped is, but the first thing I thought of because I didn't know it is that guy who yells at people a lot. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh spiky um, hair. Gordon Ramsay? Sure. Yeah, he's British or something. Yeah, um, Gordon Ramsay. From America. <laughs> so I yeah. just thought that was it. And I thought your question was, would you rather be on a friendly baking show with sweets or like a scary baking show with OK, so that's the flip whatever. of this question so we'll we'll get to that in a second but for this oh. is what would you rather be a judge of <laughs> not a contestant oh on. so a, a judge it's, of the the heart of this i feel like is would you rather eat bake try to eat or you know try to eat judge baked goods and eat baked goods all day for every episode or whatever or do you rather try like people's cooking yeah i'd rather i uh, want to say like not yeah chopped like a cooking you be on show. a cooking like, show interesting there's more there's more variety and we were just me and space Bar were just talking about this the other day i'm spoiled and you've been spoiled by my mother's excellent baking skills that's 100 so percent. I, I don't have much to gain from a baking show i don't think <laughs> oh, okay like you've you've had if you're best. out there listening mom listen mom i'm i'm giving you compliments <laughs> um yeah you know the brownies are mwah. so yeah. i don't really i'd rather like go eat some weird food i've never had before or like a perfection of my that, favorite foods that answer is a really great compliment to your mom that's very yeah. sweet uh i don't so that's a good question i don't think you get to judge with mary berry because she's not on the show currently space bar like she she did her seasons and and moved on she uh, retired um you i guess you could pick to be a judge with paul hollywood and, and the new person, if you want to be like the third judge, or you could replace one of them if you wanted. If that changes Wait, your which answer. Is, who's the guy that was with Mary Berry? Which one's that? Oh, Paul Hollywood the, has been the guy like the whole time, the guy he's judge. He's always there. Okay. Yeah. I've only seen like a few episodes. Okay. Um, he was annoying for the episodes I saw, so that also makes me want to not be on that specific big <laughs> okay. show. Um, Abby and I, <laughs> the last time we were watching like the master classes and stuff recently, and like the new season we're watching. Um, and it hit us that he's kind of like the British Guy Fieri. Yeah, that's that's who he is. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Abby really, really loves, really loves whenever there's a really just anything that he can like poke, like all the breads, all bread weeks. He really gets his like pokey fingers in there to see like how it, the cook was like the bake was. <laughs> she loves when <laughs> that happens. Uh, yeah, I, I. <sighs> This is a really tough one for me because I feel like I could enjoy baked goods a lot, but I, I would definitely I'd probably get more out of being a judge on a cooking show like Chopped. It would get me to try more foods, try new foods, new flavors, learn different ways of cooking. You know, if I went on it with my current knowledge. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like that's the way to go just for we're, variety. We're um, we're forming into our camps here. Um, Space Bar and Spotsman are on the same side here. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> space. I will let her know, uh, Spacebar, that you have the same thoughts about that. Yeah, she hates it. 
<laughs> Sponsor, I'm coming at this from a which do I want to eat? Like, I don't care how serious any of it is. I get to sit there and judge people regardless. But also, I want to eat you do. the food I want to eat while I do that. So but Seriously, Paul, stop touching the bread. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> does Okay, how does it change then for all of us here? I, I could type this question up quick. Um, but overall, what's your thought on if you were going to be a contestant? What would you rather be a contestant on? So I guess, what do you think you're better at? Or what do you think you can come at it from any angle? What would you rather be a contestant on with maybe the current judges that you're thinking of for the Bake Off show or for um, a cooking show, Chopped or something like that, if you know the judges? Spotsman with none of the above. I don't think that's an option. You're going to have to be on one of them. There you go. Bake Off. OK. <laughs> I think I would do Bake Off for that just because I feel like I'd be better at it. I don't know. I OK. I think I, I would like too, because the, like you have the time to practice two of the three of the things. Not that that always means it goes right, right? The people obviously practice and it doesn't work or they don't like it. The technical yeah. I would lose every time. I can't imagine I'd do well on that ever. Oh yeah. Whenever I watch I mean, that, I would always guess like what the right answer was for the stuff that's like left out or whatever of like oh, the yeah. recipe. Always wrong. Like 100% how, of the time. It, okay, it like overthink proof. it and over logic it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, nope, you're nope, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I would have destroyed my thing or whatever their bread or whatever they make. Yeah, they make savory things. On they they do. They so, yeah. they mix in like savory things like a, a baked something meat pies whatever they do in Britain. <laughs> they have but some I also funky desserts on there. Always, I always mess up something that I've never cooked before, like a dinner or like oh, normal yeah, food. Like first time you do a recipe. The first time I I always do something wrong. I think even yeah. if it's just one thing. So that would just scare me. I'd rather just like. I don't know. And even if it's gross, it probably has sugar with it in the baking show and I can just drown myself in sh sugary goodness. <laughs> It'd be more enjoyable, probably, as an experience, I think, to to be on Bake Off. Yeah. Even if you'd be the first one out, maybe. But it would be, I think, a, a fun Wait. experience. Where's Chopped? Where does Chopped take place? I, I don't know. That was the that very... was the best one we could come up with quick. You know, we've Abby's seen it, um, so we did Chopped, but... Um, I, I think like I was thinking of Iron Chef, but that's like a totally different thing. The Gordon Ramsay, they had a show. He had a show, whatever that one was called. Hell's Kitchen. There we go. He had Hell's Kitchen. That's that's one that Gordon Ramsay did. Um, what's the one that Alton Brown is one of the judges for or runs? Is that is that Iron Chef? I'm getting that the same thing. I'm not familiar enough with these. Yeah. Chopped is filmed in New York City, so I also go. want the Great British Breaking Show so I can go to the UK. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah. If you're enjoying the show, remember to follow me here on Twitch. And if you're catching us on YouTube, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. For question number two, moving on to the next one. Uh, food themed, carrying throughout this episode. This would be all of your pasta. So not just one meal or every once in a while. Every time you have pasta, would you rather it be slightly undercooked or overcooked? You only get to choose one for the rest of the pasta. For the rest of pasta. Yep. I, I, I think I'd go overcooked. I but think man, that that's also... tough. <laughs> well, how undercooked is it? Is it variably? Is it is it a variable amount every time of either I... side? Or is it a consistent thing every time? That's a great and, question. And can you so, say how much? Could you? Hmm. Yeah, maybe you could say how much. But uh, opposite sides of the same coin kind of thing. In your mind, the more overcooked you go, the same amount of undercooked would be on the other side of the coin to make like the decision between. In my mind, I'm picturing it where like y you took it out right before it actually was al dente. So maybe <laughs> there's still a little bit of too toughness in your pasta, right? I don't know if there'd be a crunch to it necessarily because that'd be like almost raw no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Th like el dente is usually when you're gonna go on to cook it further right um so you leave it a little bit more because you're gonna put it in the oven or something and it's gonna keep getting more soft so like right there like right on the cusp of that is where i'm picturing undercooked oh. and overcooked again overcooked in my mind seems better because it would just be like a little bit too mushy and i'm probably overcooking all my pasta anyway <laughs> i don't like mushy pasta so i want to say the undercooked hmm but okay. there's a very, it's real easy to, to cross the line of too undercooked yeah, or something. Like I only like it like 30 seconds before pasta. al dente or even just al dente. I don't really know how I cook my pasta. 
but yeah. So I guess to be safe, I would do overcooked because at least I think that's what I would do too. It's more of a it's more of a taking it safe thing. I feel like it yeah. hinders a dish more if your pasta is undercooked than overcooked. Oh, yeah, under undercooked isn't as forgiving in my mind. Oh, that's that's how I yeah just drench it in sauce. Yeah, I mean I I do that anyway. I like sauce on pizza pasta. Like I always like very saucy. Yeah, I th- are we Please ignore okay? My... Hey 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 DJ, that's not how you spell overcooked. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Hey, but so far, so far your, poll is, your poll is working. Yay. Um, man, we're all we're all in agreement on that one. I don't have a lot of good follow ups on this one. Uh, this one is just a quick one I wanted to an answer on. So if you if you have any modifications, we can talk about them quick. But OK, well, what if it was very what if it was a varying amount? I mean, I guess maybe that's the same. Because It'd like, kind of be the same. yeah, it's going to be the same. And like anything more extreme than this is would like, would you rather eat pasta raw or mashed potatoes? <laughs> like that's like the consistency it become if you go overcooked by too much. <laughs> neither vote neither, please vote neither. No, thank you. Yeah. Um. So I have I have one more question for us to talk about quick, and it could be a quick one again. I, I might have some variations on this one though. Um. Potatoes. Yeah. Well, like what? Okay, Sp- Spotsman. What if you overcook pasta too much? So if raw pasta, crunchy pasta is one extreme. What's the other extreme of overcooked? Like what's its equal on the other side? It would just be mush, right? Like it would just fall apart. That's why I thought of mashed potatoes. Yeah. What happens if you just cook pasta for like an hour? I've never done it. I bet it just like falls apart in the water, right? Does it? It doesn't like disintegrate though, right? Like it would still have some shape, but it would get like maybe start splitting and get really soft and soggy, and there'd be like chunks of it floating. I th- yeah, right? I feel like that's what would happen. Especially if you had like a spaghetti or an angel hair or something. Just when you go in to like stir it, it would just like fall apart. I think you couldn't scoop it yeah. out. Maybe. Thank you for being here, DJ. Thank thank you all in chat, all of you in chat for being here. Um, remember to click follow here on Twitch and turn on notifications. Uh, if you're catching this on YouTube, be sure to like the video, comment your answers down below. Uh, and subscribe to the channel. It's a great free way to, to support the show. If you're enjoying the content and like what we're doing, come join us on Discord, give us suggestions for questions for the show, and just hang out with us and play games with us. If you want to be part of these discussions, you can join us here on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday evening at 6.30 Central Time. And with that, have a great night. See you, everyone.